Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today we're gonna be do our doing <laughs> our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing for the month of March, which again I will say is crazy. So this is the middle tier box. It retails for twenty five dollars a month, and it is their hundredth bag. <laughs> their hundredth bag, yeah, their hundredth bag, right? Hundredth Ipsy Glam Bag. I did this one yesterday. If you guys missed that. Um, so you do get six products this time instead of five and the little box in this one, the little bag in this one. I'm not sure what they're doing for the big one, Ultimate, because I don't get that one anymore. So I'm sure you'll get an extra product in there too though. But here is what it looks like on the inside. So many fun things. And the little card here does say the same thing as the other one. It says giveaways for days, March 25th, choose a product. So go ahead and dive right in. The first thing on here is the Brow Butter Pomade Kit in the shade Taupe by Billion Dollar Brows. My nose is running. <laughs> um, I roll my eyes because we've gotten so much stuff by them here lately and I'm just kind of like, okay, <laughs> which is fine. But like, how many brow products can we get from the same company, you know? I don't really use brow pomades, but I will definitely give it a shot just because I don't use them. Then the shade Taupe which is usually like blonde, but that looks pretty dark. Definitely gonna be a little light for me, but I will try it, I guess. Um, and it does come with this little tiny little baby spoolie slash brow pencil, which I definitely think is cute. This retails for $24. So there is the box paid for right there. Um, oh, let's actually skip all this stuff. And look at the little bag, it's so cute. This actually looks like a little clutch purse. Um, it does snap right there, and it's like a khaki um, tan color and a teal. And then on the back, it's more of that, I guess it's more of like a blush color. And then when you unsnap it, it says unstoppable, and there's lime green on the inside, lime yellow, whatever you wanna call it. So I really like this bag, I think it's cute. Um, they've been killing it with the actual bags themselves here lately. Okay, next thing, Luna Liner Water Resistant Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, um, this retails for $18. Why does this say? Oh, it's Seraphine Botanicals, okay. Um, okay, yeah. I don't know, I'm being very pessimistic right now, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm just like... Spoiler alert, I got a liquid liner yesterday in my little Ipsy, so I don't think I'm going to open this just because I don't know if I'm going to use it, I'll be honest, but I'm going to hold on to it for now and then I might try it out, but I don't want to waste it right now. So $18, Seraphine Botanicals is a good brand, they're cruelty free, vegan, all that great stuff, so that's cool. Um, this Milan and Gotez Revitalizing Eye Gel. It is cruelty free. So I don't know what this is. <laughs> I mean, it's an eye gel, but I've never heard of the brand before. Milan and Gotez. I feel like I have actually heard of them, but I don't know. But packaging is very minimalistic. I like that. And it is just an eye gel. Again, not something I'm gonna swatch for you guys, just because I try to be less wasteful in these videos. I feel like I swatch everything and then I'm like, I'm not gonna use this. Well, let me declutter it. <laughs> so I don't wanna do that anymore. Um, <laughs> this is the coffee scrub organic feelings coconut sexy skin is just a scrub away cute um i hate coffee guys <laughs> like um unpopular opinion here i do not like coffee i don't like the way it smells i don't like the way it tastes i just don't like it so i'm not going to be using this i'll actually put this in the little giveaway box i have going on over there for you guys hoping to do that once i hit 200 subscribers so subscribe if you haven't yet I'm um, getting close, but this retails for $21.99. So, I mean, if you like coffee, this is a great thing to get. Like, if it was just a coconut scrub, I'd be super excited. But I don't like coffee. So, coffee is up there with, like, rose and lavender for me. I hate the way they smell. So, we're not going to use that. But the next thing I actually picked, this is the, actually the last thing. This is the Girl Powder Auto Balm Cheeks on the Go by The Balm Cosmetics. So it's just, it's super cute packaging. It's like a little tin that looks like a license plate. 
that seems impossible to open. Lift here, I am lifting here. Oh my goodness. You got like, there's not enough to hold on to. There we go. Okay, you get like, <gasps> hmm, I thought I was gonna dig my nail in there, but I didn't. You get like three blush shades. That one might be a bronzer. And then what looks like a shimmery blush or a highlight. So you get Houston, Bourbon. Ooh, these feel super soft. Bleaker. Oh, they're all street. Houston Street, Bourbon Street, Bleaker Street, and Fifth Avenue. That is what they look like there. I don't have a lot of blushes in my collection. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I'll definitely try that out. But there are the shades. I really like that one the best, which I think was Bourbon Street. Yeah, Bourbon Street. So definitely gonna try that out and I like it. There was not really much for me to swatch for you guys. I feel bad, but that was a super, super quick Ipsy unboxing. Um, we're gonna do our quick recap, of course. Uh, this I'm obviously excited for. It's my favorite thing that we got in the box. I also really like the bag too, though. I really need to pick up that Mountain Dew bottle back there. It's been in my videos for like two weeks now because I'm lazy. <laughs> if you guys could see the mess in front of me, you'd be like, oh girl. Um, but yeah, <laughs> the coffee scrub, I'm not excited about just because I don't like coffee. So we're gonna not diss that because I don't know. Um, the same with this thing. The, I don't know if I'm excited for this or not. I'm definitely gonna try it, but hey, her brows look like my Sharpie brows <laughs> that nobody likes except me. But that's okay. So I'm gonna try it. I just don't, I'm not like stoked about it, I guess. The eye gel is something that I'm okay with. Like I'm not, I didn't even tell you how much this was. This retails for $42. Hey, am I missing something? Oh, I did miss something, this guy. This is by Phase Zero. Um, it's a matte liquid lipstick in undercover, $16. Are you cruelty free? I'm 99% sure yes. It doesn't say they are, but I know they are because I've used them before. Um, okay, we have something to swatch. It's a liquid lip and shade undercover. Ooh, smells like cream cheese frosting. It's oddly specific. Okay, it's a pretty color. I'm definitely excited for that actually. So. Um, we missed a product, but it was a good one, so that's okay. Um, what else do we get? The liner is something that I'm, like, okay with. It's not something that I'm blown away by, but it's something I'll try. That's everything. So, overall, I think it was an okay box. Like, it's not, it's not blowing me away by any means, but I, I will try all of the things except the coffee scrubs. So, don't forget to like this video before you go. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.